Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to Introduction to C++ Part 48. We are on the challenges section. So um, let's go in here and we're going to go to challenge one. So uh, we're going to be solving some sort of problems, putting together everything we've learned up until this point. So what is the output of the following code? Here we have integer a of 15, b of 3, and a temp. We set, we set temp to be 15. We set 15 to be equal to 3. b is equal to temp. And then finally, we want temp divided by a. Okay. So let's look at this. So we're going to do temp, which is a, okay, 15 divided by what is a now? a is uh, 3, so this answer should be 5. Let's see, maybe I messed up, but that's good. Uh, you have two integer variables, var1 and var2. Enter their values using console input. So first, let's, um, let's do our include here. Uh, output stream so we can you know have access to the console write and read methods um, then we'll do using uh, the standard namespace okay that's what we want to put in there and we want to print out um, let's see what we want to do we want to we want to you know take in their values and that should be it all right cool I fill in the blanks to print the greater of two numbers stored in variables a and b. So we're going to say, what is it going to be? Um, if a is greater than b, then print out a. Otherwise, print out b. Okay. Uh, next up, rearrange the code to, to declare a function returning the greater of two, two arguments. So here we have int max, that's our fun function declaration. And we're going to say if a is greater than b, then return a. Otherwise, let's return b. Awesome. I rearrange the code to declare an array of 10 integers, assign values 0 to 9 to array elements using for loops index values. So that's, that's correct. This is the beginning. Um, and we're going to declare this integer array of 10. Uh, but actually, what we need to do, we need to actually have this in the main method. And let's see. Here, we need to do, uh, let's see, for int x is less than 10. Oh, here we go. So we need to clear array ahead of time and then put this in the middle, and that should go back. Okay, so we have our main method, and uh, we need to clear integer array. And we'll have our for loop. We'll set array of uh, x to be equal to x. And then finally, we can. This should work. I don't understand what's wrong with that. Let me. Let's see what the what the hint is. Int main for int array. Oh right, return zero needs to go at the very outside. Okay, so I learned something there. What the heck? It just told me. Um. Okay, I'm pretty sure it just. Uh, right. All right, so fill in the blanks to declare a function taking three integer parameters, a, b, and c, int a, and b, and int c, and all we want to return is a and b divided by c. Awesome. What the heck? Hold on. Int a, int b, and int c, and this function returns the sum of a and b divided by c. All right, cool. So fill in the blanks to print the sum of the array elements to the screen. So we'll do for int x equals 0, x is less than 10, plus plus x, and we'll say sum plus or equal to array of x. So it's going to keep accumulating and reducing. And then let's just output the sum at the very end. Awesome. All right, guys, that was it for part, uh, let me look real quick, part 48 here on solalearn.com. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.